Hello everyone. So I thought I'd uh so we get the, the lighting halfway decent. I thought I'd use an old Tyrannus case. This is uh what my first Tyrannus came in, uh, the standard one. Um just as a quick thing about the Tyrannus radio, the what's it X nine D or X D nine uh plus get get the camera you know, get the um the updated version, get the get the better version. The, the 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 original one is all right, but the switches aren't so great, and you know it's got the old regular sticks. If you get the other one, everything's better on it. The switches are better, the pots are better. It's all better, and even the case feels better. I'm just saying that because um, it was the best upgrade I did was going from the standard one, it came the metal case, and then going to the up the up uh, the, the better one, the enhanced version, let's call it, which came in a uh, a fabric case. Um, and that's better for sticking my backpack and get me about. But I decided I wanted to reuse this for something. It's not the sort of thing I lug about with me. And um, I did some customization. <laughs> a couple of Vinos and before you know it, you're sticking stickers on everything. So what I decided to do was pull out a lot of the insides. So this is what we've got here. Put out a lot of the insides and I've got given a laptop that was useless it had been soaked um, and I think more had happened to it because even once it was all dried out it wasn't any good the motherboard and I we're gonna, there was no point in me um, you know just doing it up for spares because it's just not worth it I've got a laptop I've got a Dell M8 what's it M4000 M4800 so and that's ideal for me so what I had to do Let's see if I can just uh, zoom in on that. So I had to get the number off the back here, which I think if I got this right, yeah, it's got to be one of these because this is what I used. You take the number off, it's that B one one six O W zero three version one. Then go looking for a driver board, um, and here is a driver board for it. You can't see it, but but here, here it is. This the drive board cost twenty five dollars off eBay, and it enables me to plug in my um, AV signal, which is cool. That's exactly what I want it for. It also enables me to plug in a um, HDMI output. So you know, if you're gonna, let's say, we wanted to play a HDMI game system, uh, it's got a TV analog digital tuner built into it and I've tried it yeah you get stations it's pretty good I've got a little tiny telescopic aerial I'm using you get stations and it's also got the uh, the USB facility and it'll play AVI MP4s I've only tried um sorry I, I tried the MKV that didn't work I got video great but did no audio and uh, MPG2 I think it was that played as, a, as well so three out of the four that I tried played most of mine are mp4s anyway and bits and pieces so so that was pretty good i found some old i don't even know where these came from but you know i'm not having them in here for high fidelity or anything like that but they did give me audio so if i did want to play a, you know something in there for whatever reason then um it's all good it'll play and i can hear it as well so all i'm doing to fit mine is i'm using like chunks of quite quite firm foam and then velcroing them. I intend on moving this up the back of the case because the the actual I kept. See on here, you've just got the the back of the screen, and I didn't think that was going to be very supportive if it was going to go on the back here and it got sat on or, or something happened to it. So I've used the, the case. Um, that was part of this computer because it's got all these little pressure pads and bits and pieces in here and that just velcros in them I'm going to run these cables up first I'll have to do jump cuts for it because you know I've got the camera in one hand and I might have to do all this with just the other hand but I'm going to run these cables up one of them so I can use uh, buttons for the settings and bits and pieces even though it does come with a, a remote control a full remote control uh, and that does everything 
I've, I've tried all that stuff that does everything and it also has the receiver for the remote control infrared there infrared there um, and so I'm going to run that up there as well and just velcro it up if you can see just velcro it up out of the way because there's enough there's a bit of a space here and I also wanted to leave just a little bit of space up there because I've got a bit of foam we'll go all the way around this and just stick out a bit so a bit of a let's say a sunscreen type thing uh, but that's how that's going to go in and to be honest with you, I might not even need to velcro these they might be able to just sit up there on top of that but I probably will velcro it just so if the sunscreen's out for any sort of reason um, this will just stay in place so let me do that now I'm going to run this up and I'll, and I'll come back to you Okay, dokey. Right, so now what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you how to connect up this. Just because it might be a bit problematic for some. Let's go go. I mean, it's basically you just kind of push it in. I think you can see what I'm doing. So just push it in. It's either going to fit or it's going to be the wrong way around. There you go. That's it. Now what I'm going to do just to make sure that this doesn't have a problem coming out because this is on a some sort of little electronic bar possibly I don't know it's just uh, it's just there so I'm just going to put a little bit of um, a bit of tape I'm going to use this some of this canvasy type tape uh, I do have some of the clear stuff a bit thinner as well but I'll just use this pull a bit of that off just to help keep that in place because while I've been faffing about with this it has managed to pull itself out a couple of times and if you're out in the field oh, I've not even told you what I'm doing have I? <laughs> I've not even told you what I'm doing <clears throat> so the idea is I've got a whole bunch of receivers that I don't really get to use because my monitor has got a receiver built in and I'm going to use the same lugs on this as what's there for it anyway because I'm using the actual outer case for the little laptop that was in it so and that will fit on there plus these little logs he says come on you know me going a bit easier what's going on here let's pull that down I think that, that bit of tape there has made it a bit I can't take it to work there we go there we go there we go and it all just sits in quite nicely I'll pop the screws in because that gives me access to it you see if I do need to get in and out of it it gives me access to it which was the whole idea I wanted to have that access and I don't know if you can see that the, up the top there we've got the controls and there's the remote uh, just with velcro and the idea was the idea is even once it's on on the right channel and stuff I can put that bit of a sunscreen in there so if I am sat out on you know, a little pull out table or whatever and it's sat on there um, yeah I've got a bit of a sunscreen I know it's not ideal but this is all recyclable so apart from you know apart from the old um, driver board everything else I've been using before for things um, right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fit this back in here hopefully get it the right way around the first go fit that back in there Turn it there because I want it. I, I don't. Oh, so I just, I just fit this back into here because I unplugged it. It was easier for me to put that down the back of this, um, so it all goes down the back, of, down the back of the screen. And that will sit in there like this. Oh, it will sit in there like that. And then I've got this piece here. Um, which has already got some velcro on there I've already put it on uh, and then that is going to sit in there just to keep that in place because I wanted this to be firm enough to, you know, to take a little bit of pressure because I'm, I'm not quite sure what battery I'm going to use yet but I could use this but that's what I normally use for my receiver um, be it the one with the monitor on it or not I have some smaller ones but these are my flight packs these fit in the um, AR wing perfectly and also um, they fit on my quad perfectly 
so I'm more than likely going to use this one because it's a lot bigger capacitance and it will also give me the options of maybe getting a few charges at least one or two charges extra for the flight packs um, it's 25 volts but I'm going to be putting on to a, um, a little power supply which will give me an indication of the voltage, voltage out and the natural photo show you what I'm be using let me just grab this here and excuse the mess everywhere because it's just well if I kept trying to leave things and until I got tidied up, I'd never get anything done because nothing ever, never ever, nothing ever stays tidied. So I'm going to use one of these, um, and this will—it's uh, got a little uh, little display here, so it will let me control the current, control the voltage. Obviously, I only want 12 volt going out to everything because this is 12 volt. Um, so what I'm going to do before I do much else, because we've also got a few other bits, we've got wiring, we've got this to wire in as well, because this is a um, 5 volt feed going to this DVR recorder, and this is a run cam DVR recorder, and I'm using this 5 volt feed because I get to turn the power on and off and turn the output on and off. Out. If I don't, what it means is that even if I'm not using this and this is just power doing stuff, this is getting quite warm and I don't really like that. So we'll have this uh, sort of around there. Be velcroed on. This all fits into this. You know, these just plug in. I've just kept the cables there as they are because of the because of the mass of cable. It's three meters, about four meters of length. And, uh, and yeah, so I'm going to get this done, get this so it's velcroed in, and then start looking about how to fit this correctly, and uh, maybe even velcro this into the bottom. I'm pretty much sure that I'm going to velcro it in. We're not going to be pulling that much current through this. Um, this is quite capable of dealing with quite a bit. It's rated, I think, I can't remember what it is. It's, it's above 200 watts. Well, we're not going to be pulling anything like that. So it's a bit overkill. But it's what I've got and it also gives me the ability to control the power on and off. It enables me to see the power coming in from the battery displayed here. It enables me to, like I say, set the current um, so we don't get any of those over current situations and help protect the electronics. Um, and yeah, and it's what I've got. It's, you know, I don't use it particularly anymore. The, uh, but I'm simply going to use it in this. Right, I'll come back to you when I've I've done some of that. Okay, right, let's uh, pop that in there. So, where have we got to? We've got to this. So, there it is, the screen's all fit back in again. Fit, fit, you know, the screen's back in again. Uh, no. Just for the demonstration purposes, I suppose we can stick the. I'm just gonna plug that in. I got a. Uh, not sure if this is the one. I oh, have it. Is. I've got a little. Um, it's one of these uh, adapters, you know, for all sorts the SD card, standard, micro. I'm not gonna go in there. Now, I've left that so it doesn't push against the back. So it does get a little bit warm, not too warm. But this is quite capable of taking you know, the weight of this. Now, this probably wouldn't travel with me as such. In this case, I mean, it will come with me uh, in this case. But even if it did, I could use these couple of bits of foam here to sort of lock it into place. But just for the sake, I'm just going to take that out. And just to show you that, you know, even though this is Velcroed in now, this isn't. This is what my, um, so you can see if I zoom in on that would be better. So you get to see the input voltage, which is down the bottom, the in. And then I've set it to 12 volts because that's what I need for this system. And I've also put a current limit on it for one amp. So if we do get a short or anything dodgy goes on, as soon as it touches up one amp, a quick short, it'll just shut this down. Shut it down. So it will not do uh, to get any damage now over here just get 
the lighting so it works a bit better. This is um, the 12 volt in. It comes from here, the same as um, same as what the adapter does, the barrel connector here. It comes into this, and the nice thing about this is if I just switch it on now. Um, so now we've got an output. Okay, all the capacitors are charged. Now we've got an output. If I turn this on, you get to see that I've got. I don't know if you're able to see it very well, but this if I back off there, can you see it? Well, just the light and zoom into it. No, it's not, I don't know if it's going to pick it up in the actual video or not. But it says 11.8 volts, and the nice thing about that is that I can press this. This is Velcro down as well. And you see a little little LEDs come on, tell me there's an output. And now you can see over here, the blue's flashing because there's no SD card in there as you can see. But the power's on, which means if I'm not going to be using it, I can just switch it off. And this isn't going to sit there getting warmer, okay, because that's, um, I don't like that. And you've got to think about it like, well, you know, think about it however you like, but I think about it like this. Any heat is energy, so we can switch this off. That's great. So I've got that for the DVR, for the digital video recorder. Now to turn on the um, the screen itself, I can either use the remote control just by hitting that button there, Give it a, a second or two, and it should come onto my last setting. So there we got the last setting, and that's um, the, the quad just looking out the window. And the great thing about this is that it, you know, it's got enough satellites to, to get going, but yeah, look, quick little thing, enough satellites to get going, a lot of people might take off, but look at the H-Dop, 2.4, yeah, I wouldn't take off now, I'd wait for that to get down to about, I'll wait till I get about 12 or 13 satellites, and that's about down to 1.5 or below, and then I know I've got a decent, a decent um, amount of satellites overlapping each other, and I'm and I'm in the sweet spot where they all overlap. Until that point, it's not like that. So as far as I'm concerned, they're not safe to fly. I recently saw something about somebody who lost, um, they were doing a uh, survey on a building site and their drone just disappeared. I've got a funny feeling it's something to do with that. Not having that low enough. Anyway, so I also get to see how much power I'm using. As you can see, a lot I'm using there. So, 0.49 amps, so like I say, just under half an amp, and 5.87 watts. If I turn on this, I can see that um, we've just gone up a little tiny bit. If I put the output on, now I can see that it's drawing about point, about, yeah, so not quite 100 milliamps. But we're up to 7.07 .07 watts and using a battery like that that's going to last for a long time so you know it'll help you know, do my battery packs so i can also bring in uh, this and bring this along with me which is a little smart charger and that'll plug directly in to the uh, to the battery and allow me to recharge some of my my battery packs again, which these are the ones I use in my quiet hand in the wing. So that's it, that, that, that is it, that's what I was uh, intending on doing. Oh, just to show you yeah, as well, so it's uh, not only does this thing, so look, look, these are the inputs you got. So if I go to the USB and just press enter, and give it a few seconds, and I can go across here into the drive, dun dun just give it a few moments there we go, turn up the volume a bit and there we go, that's an mp4 file snatch, can't really play it I suppose, I'll get in trouble for it so So I can, uh, I can play that one. Can't get in trouble for that. So there you go, guys. It's uh, you know, like I say, that will probably be coming out with me, or I can, um, you know, not not living in the box when I'm casting it around. 
or I can just use these two bits of foam um, just to make sure that it stays firmly in there when it is in there and it will enable me to cart it around I love the idea of having the bigger screen it's, uh, it just gives you that little bit of extra you know I mean you, well you must know the difference when you're flying if you're using a little screen you use something a bit bigger well, it'll be interesting to see how this goes because, like I say, I mean, this is just plugged into a receiver behind me, um, and that's just um, you know picking up the signal from my from my quad there. Let me just just show up for a moment. So there we go. A little something to do. I thought, yeah, I'll use the case. I've got these bits and pieces. I've got this power supply. I don't really use for anything else. Um, but it's you know, perfect for this, especially with the, the the current control and things like that. I do like, you know, cause if I if I did short something out, that would take care of it. That gives a nice bit of protection across everything that's happening here. So uh, yeah, and of course you've got the other input. Sorry, I didn't show you the. Uh, uh, oh. oh, little little stick antenna just on the side here. Just fell off the side, but let's just see if we get any TV stations. So go up to the DV, DVBT up there. And, uh, the rest that's going on up here. There you go, look. Yeah. Can't really play too much of that in case I get in trouble for that. There you go. So that's that. It all works, it works really well. Well, it works really well for me, um, in, my, in my viewpoint. So, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, and I'll see you in the next one. We'll probably, I'm not sure whether this will be out with me straight away in the field, but uh, we'll give it a go. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe.